Okay, in this video we're going to be looking uh, at the dashboard, which is what we're looking at right now. Um, so let's start on top left hand corner, just so you get familiar with what it is that we have in front of you. Because I know if, uh, with any new software, it could be a daunting experience if you don't know, if you haven't had any experience with it before. So on here on the left hand side, you have the uh, three lines, the sandwiches here. If you click on that, it gives you a list of all the classes you have. It's just a shortcut to get into all your classes. Okay, uh, it says here at the bottom archived classes. That's basically if after a year, or if you have a, a carousel system where you don't have teach any subject, uh, a particular group of students uh, after six months or three months, or whatever it might be, you may not need the class anymore. So you can actually archive it. So it's where their way of deleting it, but without losing the work in case you need to go back to it. So we can leave that as it is. As I said, these are the shortcuts to uh, to get to your classes. We're going to leave uh, the do to do and the calendar because, as I said, we're going to focus only on the things that are most useful. Uh, not that I'm saying that these aren't, uh, but for now, uh, we don't need to look at that. This here is obviously the class that you are currently on. You can see that they match here as well. Upcoming is if you have any assignments, which we'll look at later, and they'll show you exactly which is the most recent, or most um, the next one that's due for students. Anything that you share with the students will show up here. So obviously I haven't sent anything yet, so that's why it's not showing anything. So this is the default uh, view. Then you have three op sorry, four options here in the middle above the uh, title the stream page, the classwork page, the people page, and the marks page. Now, I've already showed you very briefly in a previous video uh, what the people page is, which is basically a list of all the people uh, who can access this class. Uh, I currently have no one. Um, but if I was to go to a different class, I would have a list of the students I can't obviously show you for and GP, GDP purposes, uh, but you'll have to take me, my word for it. But when you go onto your own, you will see a list build up here. Marks is a new, uh, relatively new feature, very useful. Uh, if you are assigning um, tests or assessments online and you mark it here using their grading criteria and you can see a list of students, almost like a register down here on the left hand side and you'll see the grades, uh, the, the, the uh, assessment, uh, the marks, you know, the number it's actually out of and then a grade. So it's a nice summary overview uh, of what they've got so far. Uh, but I don't often use this because I have my own tracking sheets. So Typically, I use these two the most, stream and classwork. Um, classwork, you'll see a list of all the things that you've shown or shared with them or asked your students to complete over the you know, duration. Um, but stream is the main thing that most students see and therefore I look at as well just because it makes it easier to have the consistency. Top right hand side, you have the settings page uh, icon which I mentioned in a previous video, you've got the app drawer next to that, so Google Apps, and that's, you know, it just, just shows all the calendar, uh, all the other apps that you can actually access from here. Uh, Google Drive being one of the most important ones, which we'll look at later on. And then, of course, your avatar will go in there showing what account you have used to uh, access um, this software. Um, and that's basically it. So we'll stop that uh, this video here, and then we'll look at the next clip, uh, next ta task and next clip.